Hello artist. Today we are going to be working on our Cran Resist Heart Lesson. So first we have a piece of white paper and today you are going to be using white crayon. Now usually white crayon and white paper we wouldn't be able to see anything but today we are going to do some painting magic that lets us see this white crayon. So first I am going to draw a heart on my paper and it might be hard for you guys to see it because like I said it is white crayon on white paper you can see it just a little bit now I'm going to draw a heart inside of that heart and I'm gonna do one more All right, now that I have step one done, if you turn your paper, sometimes it's easier to see those lines. Now, I am going to take my crown and I am going to add patterns in each section of my heart. So between this heart and this heart, I'm going to add a pattern. Between this heart and this heart, I'm going to add a pattern. And maybe I'll put something in the middle one right there. But when we are drawing with our white crown, it is very important that we are pushing hard enough that it is showing up on the paper. If we are not pushing, it's not going to do the magic trick. And then the white crown on white paper really won't show up. So you have to make sure you're pushing your crown down enough that it is leaving a nice line of crayon wax on your paper. All right, and now that I'm done with that section, I'm going to move on to my next section. And the last section. All right, boys and girls, now that I am done with all of my crayon drawing, I am ready to do the magic. So, I have a tray of watercolors and like always when I'm using watercolor, I have to wake them up first. So I'm going to put a dot of water on each of my colors. And then I'm going to tickle them to wake them up. And like always, I wash my brush before I touch a new color so I don't ruin that color. That is how this palette stays so nice the colors stay so separated, that's because I clean my brush. So when you guys look for palettes that are nice and clean, make sure that you're also washing your brush between colors so the next person can have a clean palette. All right, and now that all of my colors have a little puddle, I am ready to go ahead and paint. I think I would like to try doing wet and wet, but this is just a try it if you'd like to. So wet and wet is when I take wet water and I put a little bit of water on my paper and then I take any color I'd like and I put it on that wet water and it'll start to explode. And now you see how it stopped? It stopped because of my white crayon. So you can have fun experimenting with your paint and your water. If you just want to take your paint colors and actually paint your heart, that's cool too. The magic will still work. You see how the part where I drew stays white. And then the parts where there's no white crayon, they get color. That is called watercolor resist. The one thing we are not going to do with our watercolor is we are not digging into the paints. We want to make sure we are just tickling them and using them like that. Because if we are digging into the paints, the white won't work. The magic part won't work. We just want to tickle them and put it on our paper. All right, boys and girls, and if there's any parts where you see a puddle that might drip when you walk it to the drying rack, we can clean that up. And 
And if you'd like, you can take your painting all the way to the edges of the paper, or you can stop once you see that your heart is all filled in. I think I wanna go to the edges of my paper. Oh no, I made my yellow a little dirty. So what I'll do is I'll clean my brush, add some clean water, and clean it up a little bit. There we go, now it looks more yellow. All right, boys and girls, and once you like the way it looks, we are going to use two hands to carry it to the drying rack. But like I said, if there's any bits that look like they're gonna drip off the edges, we can clean them up first before we start to walk. All right, I hope you had fun, bye.